Hello friends, how are you doing? In our video of today, we will speak about how to apply for the visa of Qatar and we will speak about almost everything, the visa policy, then how to apply, then the required documents. But before we start, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel and if you have any inquiry or question, please write it below in the comment section and I will respond to you back in 24 hours if we will look at the visa policy of the country of qatar we will we will see that if you uh, are a holder of a passport from the gulf countries like saudi arabia or oman or bahrain or uh, kuwait or united arab emirates so you are part of the freedom of movement agreement between uh, the arab gulf countries uh, and if you are a holder of european passport or passport of Russia, Argentina. Uh, so you are no, uh, you are under the program of visa waiver on arrival for 90 days. But if you are a holder of a passport of any of the countries of North America, South America, uh, China, and Australia, then you are part of the program of visa waiver uh, on arrival for 30 days. For the rest of the countries you will have to apply for e-visa but there are some countries like india iran macau pakistan taiwan who can obtain a visa on arrival for uh, 30 days if you belong to one of the countries who need visas before traveling to qatar so qatar provides you a website where you can obtain an electronic visa but there is a problem with this website that is not fully working so if i am from algeria right now and actually this is the official website and you're applying from algeria and you're searching for the type of visa they will tell you that you are eligible for e-tourist visa and you can apply uh, to uh, by be uh, directed to the qatar visa services website by by clicking here this page will appear uh, in front of you so in this case the only way to get the qatar visa is to apply uh, through the embassy then if you are going to apply through uh, the embassy so you have to understand that the regulations are the same in all the embassies if you are applying for uh, a visiting visa services so you will need a full application form and to submit your uh, passport which sub, uh, is supposed to be valid for the la for the last six months and two uh, personal photographs of you and also you will need to support some other supporting uh, documents that i will indicate uh, later and the visa fees in general they are equivalent to 100 uh, real uh, qatari and if we will look at the application form we will find that this is a copy of the application form and the only application form i managed to found online is the application form dedicated to washington dc but you can eliminate of course but this is the same uh, form uh, the same thing uh, the same data in uh, inside each application form you can just uh, eliminate this uh, part and fill the application uh, form and in the next section i will indicate to you all the documents that you will need uh, to apply for the Qatar visa. Speaking about the documents you will need to apply for the visa, the first document is your passport. Speaking about the passport, the passport must be original, the issue date must be not older than 10 years, with at least 6 months of remaining validity, and with at least 2 blank visa pages for the stamps. Number 2, you will need a photocopy of your passport. The passport photocopy is recommended to be colored, must show both data page and the photo page if they are separated. Number three, you will need personal pictures. For the personal picture, you will need two pictures, not older than six months, clear, shows full face, with white background, and shows neutral expressions, no head or face covering accepted except for religious reasons number four you will need visa application forms for the visa application form it could be an online form filled online printed then signed it could be also a pdf form filled on computer printed then signed and also it could be a hand filled form printed 
then filled, then signed. Its type depends on the country of the visa and will be explained individually in each video. Number 5. You will need a proof of status. For the proof of status, it varies. If you are an employee or work in a company, you will need a letter from an employer or HR office or your sponsor stating designation, the date of employment, the salary, the period of stay, purpose of visit, and financial arrangements shall also be mentioned. The letter must have an original signature and a stamp. But if you are an owner of your own company or a partner in a company, you will need a copy of the company commercial registry and tax card should also be presented. And if you are a student in a school or college, enrollment letter should be provided. Number six, for foreigners, you will need a legal residence permit. If you are not applying for a visa in the country of your own citizenship, you must provide the original and photocopy of your valid certificates of residence, employment, or student status, or other valid certificates of legal stay, provided by the relevant authorities of the country where the visa center is located. Number seven, you will need a proof of funds. You will also need a proof of sufficient financial means to cover the period of your intended stay. A bank statement for the last six months showing regular income. The original bank statement must show the applicant's name and be stamped and signed by the bank's representative. Please note that cash will not be accepted as a proof of funds. In case you don't have a bank account, a proof of any assets can also be presented. Number eight, you will need a flight reservation. The flight reservation is also an important document. A primary booking of flight ticket reservation must be presented, including the return trip. And in some cases, for some countries, this flight ticket must be confirmed. Number nine, you will need a proof of accommodation. You will also need to provide a proof of accommodation for the whole duration of the intended stay. It should be a confirmed hotel reservation. The confirmation needs to be issued directly by the hotel, guest house, and clearly state the visa applicant's full name, dates of accommodation, the hotel address, and the contact details. In case you don't have a hotel reservation, you will need an invitation by the Office of Citizenship and Migration Affairs or invitation from a host. The host can be company, friends, family, and it should indicate the address of accommodation. And those are some sites you can use to book your accommodation place. Number 10, you will need a health insurance certificate. In many cases, you will need a travel insurance certificate, especially for Schengen countries. It should be covering the whole period of stay, including the information on terms and conditions. The insurance should cover all medical expenses, including emergency hospital treatment and repartition of the period of your stay in the Schengen area, covering at least 30,000 Euros. The travel insurance certificate shall be signed and stamped by the insurance company representatives or be able to confirm it online. Those are some sites of companies you can use for your travel insurance.